All eyes on the Florida State Supreme Court on Monday. State justices are expected to decide whether you can vote on issues pertaining to abortion access and adult recreational marijuana use. Local Times' Christina Vasquez is joining us live to explain all this and break it down for us. Christina. And new tonight, you're going to hear from a state constitutional law expert, plus a political scientist weighs in. Two groups have been working for the opportunity to allow you to vote on two key issues in November. One proposed constitutional amendment reads in part, no law shall prohibit, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health, as determined by the patient's health care provider. There are really clear standards for what it takes to get an initiative on the ballot in Florida, and we know that we've met those standards. The other would allow adults to possess, purchase, and use marijuana products for non-medical personal consumption and establishes possession limits for personal use. And on Monday, the Florida Supreme Court is expected to publish its opinion on whether they should or should not be on the ballot in November. Florida is a little bit unusual because the Constitution requires that these um, initiative petitions essentially be pre-cleared by the Florida Supreme Court before they go on the ballot. Here's UF Law's state constitutional law expert, Jonathan Marshfield. The question that is before them is whether the Florida Supreme Court believes that it meets the requirements that are included in the Constitution and then also in some statutes for these to be placed on the ballot. What's the political implications of all this? There will be Republicans who will come to vote because they want to vote against the abortion bill or they want to vote against marijuana. There will be those who come because they want to vote for it. That's NSU political scientist Charles Zeldin. However, when you balance out the two sides, the one who benefits more is the pro side because those who are likely to vote for these initiatives are more likely to be casual voters. And therefore, in his view, these initiatives, if they do end up on the ballot, could drive them to the polls. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.